You guys probably already know that I'm a pretty big fan of what Microsoft has been doing with Bing and Bing Chat, but today we have a blog post to take a look at because they are updating Bing with a bunch of improvements that I think are going to make a really big difference. Let's take a look first at their actual blog post announcing the next wave of AI innovation with Microsoft Bing and Edge. And like I said, there's a lot of really big like improvements we've been wanting for pretty much since this thing launched and they're rolling it out. Really, really good stuff. So first thing is really, really important. So we're moving from limited preview to open preview. What does that mean? Well, it means that if you want to try out Bing Chat right now, you can. You could just go do it. Even if you've never been able to try it before, there's no more waiting list. You can just go do it. Now, it is open for everyone to use. That is a really big one. Another thing that I've talked about on this channel that I want to see more improvements of is the integration with imagery. Right now, we are dealing with just text alone. Context using just text alone and results that are simply text alone. And now they say they're moving from text only search and chat to one that is incredibly more visual with rich image and video answers coming shortly. New multimodal support. This is really, really big because this means that it's beginning to understand images. Okay, so you're gonna ask it a question and imagery can now be the answer you are given more directly. Not just generating images, but basically sourcing some images as well to better answer your questions. And if we scroll down here, there is another video which we'll play here that kind of gives some of the ideas of what we're talking about. They're asking a question about a particular cactus and instead of just getting text answering that question, you're getting text as well as an image of that cactus. Now this image has been, like I said, sourced from the internet to give better context for that question. And if we do skip ahead a little bit here, we're gonna see that we're not just talking about images, but also charts, graphs, and updated formatting. So just basically becoming far more visually aware in regard to how it's able to answer these questions. If we scroll back up here again, here's something we've all been asking about. Search history, not just single session productivity experiences like they say here, but actual persistent chats within Edge. Like they say, starting shortly, you'll be able to pick up where you left off and return to previous chats in Bing Chat with Chat History. And in a really cool twist of it, it looks like, let's say you start your Bing Chat session in the full Bing website, but then you go to another website. It's going to continue living inside your sidebar, which we're going to talk about that sidebar a bit more as we go forward. But that's just going to allow you to be much more flexible in how you're using this AI to be more productive and to get things done. Now, as I've talked about already, we've already gotten this read design of Microsoft Edge and little Bing sidebar, which allows you to do really cool things like generating page takeaways, which it already did there very, very quickly, basically giving you a synopsis of this article in very short form, something I've used quite a bit. But apparently these features are going to be improved over time with updates like this, improved summarizations for long documents, including PDFs and longer form websites, making it easier to consume dense content online. That's definitely something I've really enjoyed using. And for those that don't know, it also has the ability, if you go to a place like Twitter and you're going to write up a post, to compose a message where you can give it, you know, kind of the, the jumping off point, a tone, format, and length, and it will generate some text for you to post there wherever you want to post. That sidebar is already very useful and it looks like they're going to be continuing to improve it. A really big one here is that Edge Mobile will soon include page context. Right now you open it up in Edge Mobile and it's just being chat, but it doesn't understand the web page behind it. This is huge. So you're going to very soon be able to do this exact thing with page context and takeaways on your mobile device. I cannot wait for this one. This is really, really good. They've actually got a demo here where they're looking up action movies, picking a movie, and then telling it that they want to watch it on Apple TV to have this thing open up the Apple TV website, it looks like, with the little Bing sidebar there on the side. Could this be our first steps towards, even on mobile, the ability to then launch applications or complete actions? We've talked about this in the past, that for Bing Chat to overcome something like Google Assistant, it's going to need to be able to do some things like this, opening apps and controlling things. Perhaps these are our first baby steps into that direction. Definitely something that we need to see moving forward. This one though might be the biggest piece of news from this yet. Moving from a product to a platform. They say they're going to be building third-party plugins 
functions, which are going to allow Bing Chat to sync up with other services. They give this example here. They're researching the latest restaurant for dinner in Bing Chat, and they can utilize Open Table to find and book a reservation all inside Bing Chat. That is really really impressive or with wolf from alpha to create powerful visualizations and get answers to complex science math and human curated data based questions directly from being chat but there's almost an endless amount of possibilities here because they're literally like they say opening this up to become a platform for third-party plugins to plug into to then integrate with being chat this as i said could be the most game-changing piece of this announcement. Frankly, I'm really impressed with how many things they've already managed to add to Bing Chat and how rapidly they are improving on this. The lead they have over Google with Bard is large and it is getting larger and larger by the day as they continue to roll out improved experiences and brand new features inside Bing Chat. The stuff that they're doing now with mobile, bringing more and more of these features that they have with the Bing sidebar and edge to mobile are like really, really important to me because it's become a part of my workflow and having it on mobile is going to make it all the more useful to me. Being able to have your history and pick things back up where you left off is really, really important as well when you're doing something more in depth. Sometimes having it be a single session is a problem because you leave and you have to start over from where you were and that was always kind of a problem and they're already fixing this. I made a comment back weeks ago when the image generation thing started and I generated using just some words, a little cartoon version of myself. And I said, man, it would be really cool if it could use that image as page context so I could say, hey, look at this little cartoon of, of me. I want you to now take that cartoon and make him be doing something else. And it, it would be really cool if it could look at that image as context and then modify that, keep them looking the same, but do something different. And guys, it feels like we're like rapidly headed towards that point. I thought that was something that would be like a long time off. And it feels like we are getting closer and closer to that kind of thing being possible by the day with the improvements that we're already getting. The third party plugin stuff is going to potentially be mind blowing. The more companies and apps that kind of take advantage of this ability to plug into Bing Chat, which I think. You know, you could say, well, you know, how many companies are actually, how many apps are actually going to do that? Well, if you take a look at this first image that they posted, Bing Chat has been very, very successful. That's a lot of daily users. So you're going to have applications and companies say, yeah, I kind of want to be integrated into that. People are actually using Bing Chat now and I can be integrated in there in such a way that like I'm actually not just being like a search result, but being actively used as an end product inside Bing Chat. You're going to see people building off of these plugins and building into Bing Chat. Really, really cool. I'd love to know from you guys, what sorts of plugins do you want to see? Let me know in the comments down below. What can you imagine this being able to do? I'm sure there's tons of great examples. Guys, hit that subscribe button before you leave so you don't miss out on more content like this. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.